In this video, we'll be looking at Tami invecting OMP amps. So I think it's almost the same as invecting OMP amps. Just a little bit of summing stuff there that we'll just see now. It's not of a big problem. So, what is happening now? The current at 1, this branch, plus current at 2, I think you see which branch I'm talking about, plus current at 3, should equals to current on this branch with R. Let me say current out. Let me call it current out. I think it's fair like that. And then now I do some nodal analysis. I will have to say V1 minus Vx all over R1 plus V2 minus Vx all over R2 plus V3 minus Vx all over R3 should equal to Vx minus V out all over Rf, my resistance here. So from here, I think we can do some math. Hopefully it's doable. And then what I can do now? Oh, there's visual grounding here, so I can say Vx is somewhere. Oh, this was supposed to be grounded. <laughs> somewhere close to be zero. Okay, so then we can actually cancel all these Vx's. We can actually cancel all of these. Okay. And now I can multiply by RF throughout. And if I do that, I'll be left with an RF here, an RF here, an RF here, with whatever that was there, all over R1, V1, all over R1, V1, all over R1. Oh, these R should be incrementing to 3 all over v2 this should be okay v2 here but this will be v3 then i'm adding all these things out and here i'll have minus v out i don't know if anything I, is something i can do from here something useful but i think we are almost there in our answer yeah there's nothing we can do here there's no math except someone will just want to cancel this negative here and put it this side and there will be some conditions now we could we could be like what if uh, all the others are not the same what if all the v's were the same yeah nothing much going on so that will be us taking common factors let me do maybe for if v1 is equal to v2 and is equal to v3 and then we would have to <laughs> would have taken that out would have r f v1 and then what would remain here 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 plus 1 over r3 close this negative v out and someone might say what if also um what what is remaining what if r1 is equals to r2 and is equals to r3 also again we would have been able to factor it out it would have been r f v1 all over r1 is equals to v out of which is more of the invecting formula so i think that's all we can say from this video and then that please don't forget to share and subscribe thank you